Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to the channel. Um, I guess we'll call this episode zero of hopefully many to come. Uh, my name is Ryan. I also go by Rhino or Iron Rhino. Uh, and I want to share with you. Uh, I guess that's the big takeaway here. Um, I'm starting this channel as a way to document uh, kind of my experience in fitness, uh, health, um, research into supplementation, things like that. Uh, I, I like to do a lot of info dumping. I like to get really deep into topics and uh, kind of just run away with them sometimes. So uh, I'm starting this channel to be able to share that with you. Uh, so I want to use this episode to kind of teach you or tell you about who I am. Um, like I said, my name is Ryan. Uh, as of this morning, uh, September 28th, 2021, I weigh 375 pounds. Uh, that's not a number I love seeing. It's not the highest number I've seen, but it's not a number I love seeing. Not that I think the number on the scale is everything, but the way I feel combined with the number I see on the scale tells me that that's not a good number for my body to be at. Uh, as you can see, I'm not some super massive monster. I've got jiggly arms and, you know, not a ton of definition. Uh, I, I want to change a lot of things and not just about my weight. Um, I want to enjoy life at some point everybody dies right that's a, a, a common knowledge right um i want to make sure that i enjoy the things that i get to do before i get there so that's kind of where all of this comes in to play um so on top of being uh, in the morbidly obese category, uh, I also have an autoimmune known as mast cell disorder, uh, which means sometimes my body just decides it's allergic to, self, to itself. Uh, that's a thing that I have to keep somewhere in my mind at all times. When I start new training routines, when I try to change my diet, when I do any of that, um, my body can react poorly to certain things. Uh, as I go into more videos about nutrition and what I'm eating, remember that part. Remember that I eat a specific way largely because I have found the foods that don't cause anything to act up. Uh, not that I've had a lot of issue with foods, but there are definitely times where I can tell my body doesn't like the thing I'm eating. And sometimes it'll lead to a, a bit of, like, weird puffiness. Uh, I have had some pretty crazy full-blown outbreaks where it looks like there's a balloon under my skin. Um, and I'm not sure if those are food-related or not. But just a thing to keep in mind. Uh, so, I've been off and on in the gym for probably around six years. Um... No, I've, I've been off and on in the gym for probably around 10 years, but I've spent a lot more time off of the gym than I have on the gym. Um, I was a little league and high school fo football player, uh, offensive and defensive line. And uh, more recently, I've started to get into strongman. Uh, I've done a powerlifting competition. Um, I'm not great at either of those sports but they're sports that interest me and uh a lot of times they kind of help fuel my motivation in doing things so um that's important to note because some of my training does heavily lean toward strongman athletics um but so what are my goals like as overall fitness and health and things like that um uh, i do intend to lose a considerable amount of body weight. Um, I'm not putting a number on it because it, 
it's more about how I feel, how I'm able to move through day-to-day activities, but there, there is a considerable amount of weight that I would like to lose. Um, but I want to lose it sustainably. Uh, this isn't the first time that I've weighed this much. Uh, the previous time that I was in this ballpark, I lost 120-something pounds, but I didn't do it in a healthy way. It was a lot of crash dieting and basically starvation. Um, I'm not doing that again. So uh, don't expect to see me in a month being down 50 pounds or anything like that. That's not the goal here. The goal is for all of us to work together to find healthier ways to live. Um, I also would like to be able to be more athletic as a strongman competitor and just in daily life. Um, There's a lot of times where, like, I'll be at a competition and the weight isn't the thing that's screwing me up. It's the fact that my body can't keep moving for that long. Um, And that's a problem. Just in general life, uh, there's a lot of things that I would like to do uh, activity-wise. Um, I'm a father of three. I would love to be able to do more things with my kids. And I can't because my body doesn't want to cooperate with that. So that's that's a thing I really want to address. Um, and then like the goals, not for me personally, but for this channel and for what I would like to share with everyone. I guess is the best way to do it. Um, uh, so there's there's a lot of different things I want to cover, and I kind of want to just encapsulate it all in one place. Um, I would really like to be able to upload some training logs here and there, let some people see what my training looks like while I'm going through this, because there will be times where I'm getting ready for a competition and my training will be a lot more heavy weightlifting focused, and then there will be times where I'm not getting ready for a competition and I'm, I'm more focused on uh, just getting good calorie burns in every time I go to the gym. Uh, I also want to do a lot of this, a lot of just talking to you. Um, sometimes it'll be about nutrition. Uh, I do have a diploma in human nutrition. You wouldn't t- be able to tell that seeing me on the street as a 375 pound man. Um, But it's something I'm really interested in. It's something I want to share with people. Uh, I, I plan on doing a bit of reviews of uh, some of my friends have submitted their meal plans to me and things like that. And I'd like to be able to kind of break down what they're eating and the effectiveness of their planning for their goals. Uh, I'd also like to talk about supplements. I'm I'm a big believer that you don't need to be chowing down on supplements constantly. But there are supplements that I think work. Um, there are supplements that I've looked into a whole lot of research about and that I would like to be able to share some of my knowledge about. Not in order to convince you you need supplements but to tell you if you feel like you're lacking in this area here's a supplement that i believe works um i want to just generally give some insight in training Uh, some people just don't really have have a a direction of where they want to go some people are worried they're doing something wrong um I am almost 100% self-taught on doing anything at the gym. Uh, I, I watch a YouTube video and I try to replicate it. Uh, I've never had someone watch my deadlift and try to critique it for me. I've never had someone help me learn how to bench press. It's, it's all just things I've learned from the internet. So uh, I know how that feels and I'd like to be able to provide a little bit of that content back especially to people who my channel appeals to, um, who my brand of 
lifestyle development, I guess is what I'll call what I'm trying to do for myself. Um, people who are interested in the kinds of things that I'm going to be doing here, I would like to be able to provide value to you. Uh, and that is going to come heavily in the nutrition tips, supplementation tips, workout, uh, like the, the general training insights. Um, I also would like to start doing podcasts. Um, whether it's strictly me on video talking to someone else, if I actually start a standalone podcast, I don't know. But that will also be housed here. Um, because I want all of my content to be in one easy location for anybody to find. The types of people that I want to talk to won't always be a conversation about fitness. Because this isn't just about me losing weight or me getting to a certain point in my lifting or any of that. This is about me wanting to develop a lifestyle that I enjoy. Um, I want my life to feel more enriching to myself and I want to be able to help enrich the lives of people around me. Yes, I would like to talk to people who have been involved in fitness in some degree, whether it's sports or weight loss, things of that nature, who I appreciate what they're putting out there, um, or just people who have found a way to improve their mental health, physical health, their situation as a whole, because that's what I'm doing. And being able to have those conversations with people and share them with you would mean the world to me. So, this has been a very long-winded way to say it all, but if you are interested in not just watching me change where I am, change my body, my mind, my, my outlook on life, I don't want you to just be here to watch me do it. I want people to be here who are trying to find something better for them as well. Granted, if you just want to be here to watch me, by all means, watch me. Um, but I, I hope you find something here that helps you feel better. That's, that's the idea here. I, I, I want life to be a satisfying experience for anybody around me. And I hope that life is a little bit more satisfying with the content that I provide. So hang out, see what we do. Let's, uh, let's do this thing called life to the fullest. I'll talk to you later.